this video goes out to Michelle Bannon, who has found me on YouTube. And I think she has taken my Udemy courses as well. So she's hit me up with a problem she's trying to work at. Congratulations, she's got her a new job and everything like that. And she's learning Tableau. So I'm super pumped and excited and happy for you. You know, I'm, I'm so glad to hear when people kind of get into this space. It's such an exciting space. So, oh, and lastly, I yes, I do have a Jack Russell. Uh, he is five years old. His name is Sir Henry. That is his full name. And we also have a Border Collie uh, whose name is Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. And yeah, I love those little pops. And I know you got two Jack Russells, so tell him Sir Henry said hi. So her problem is this, okay? You have a visualization. Actually, maybe I should, we'll do a, a fresh paint just to have a white background. So you have a visualization in Tableau. Okay, and maybe you'll have a bar chart, right? So I'm just gonna do some fake bar charts, whatever, right? You got bar charts like this, and then you also have a line, and that's basically a dual axis, right? You've got two measures, one, two, and you're putting it on the same graphic. But how do you do it when you have multiple, right? You have multiple lines, you have a bar chart, maybe you have an area chart. You know, how do you mix and match those, right? And I know a lot of people struggle with this problem, and that's because, um, when Tableau was kind of like designed and, you know, with the versions I've used in the last couple of years, they have something called measured values and measured names. Now to a beginner, it can be so confusing what those things do. So I'm going to demystify and show you exactly what those things do. So first we're going to start with a data set, right? So I'm going to start with just like a sample data set. Okay, and basically we have some dates, right? And we have some sales figures, right? And what we want to do is we want to overlay these. I mean, these sales could be different divisions in the company. It could be different product lines, could be anything you want. So it's a very general style, general structure type of data, which is pretty good. Okay, so just save that. And I've already put this into Tableau. So let me show you what we're trying to do. Firstly, we want to have... Um, something against time. So that's pretty easy. We're going to grab date and we're going to use that right click drag on the mouse, right? Just so we get this menu to come up. And we're going to go, I usually go straight to continuous um, just as my default so I can kind of have a quick peek of the data because there are rare cases where, you know, it didn't actually upload or import all the data and some of it's missing. Right, so it's kind of like my first check just to see every data point kind of makes sense. This one does because when I look at this, when I built it, I know that these are, you know, kind of sequential. It's one month at a time. Right, so okay, data looks good. So let's do a simple chart. So I'm going to do a, a line chart and then I'm going to do another line chart. So I'm going to grab sales to and put it right next to it. Okay, and let's say I want to change one to a bar chart, one to a line chart. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one, or I can click on this sales one, and we're going to go bar. Okay, step one, done. The next thing is we want to put them on the same axis, right? So we do a dual axis. So right click, dual axis. Okay, so you can see now I've got two in there, and that's pretty much it. How do I get a third one? Okay, well, when I first began, I was like, okay, that's easy. I'll just go sales three, dual axis. Uh, there is no dual axis, so what do I do, right? So here is the problem. Dual axis can only take two sets of data or two sets of measures for your visualization, right? So how do we get a third? This is where measured values comes in or measure values come in. Think of measure values as a bucket, okay? And you can add as many lines or columns of data that you want in there in that bucket, okay? So here's how I start it. Let's clear, clear that all out. Our goal is to put all seven into a single visualization. And then I'll show you how to customize it and stuff and mix it in with the dual axis. Okay, so let's bring in date. Okay, same thing, continuous, right? We're going to bring in sales. I usually just double click on the first one, okay, just out of habit. Um, and instead of doing this for sales two, right, instead of doing that, we're going to grab sales two and we're going to drop it on top of this axis. So you can see how there's this black kind of lines around it with this little square. And the symbol has now changed that we're doing a dual axis, right? Oh, sorry, not a dual axis, a measured value, 
okay? So the measured value just exists as a single pill, but you can add as many as you want into this bucket, right? And it'll just keep adding to your visualization. So we go three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So instead of doing a dual access, you can just chuck them all in the bucket, right? But there is a bit of a disadvantage doing it this way, or there's like a bit of a shortcoming. They all have to be the same type of visualization, right? So these are all lines. So how do I mix lines with bars, right? Okay, so you can do a number of things. Obviously, the dual axis is an easy one. Or you can um, dual access a measured value. Okay, so let me show you what that means. Let's start simply. I'm going to take out these extra ones, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually, let me put in three in here. We'll get rid of one. Okay, and I'm going to bring one in up here. Okay, so it's not part of that bucket, right? Which means this one has its own set of properties. The measured value one has its own set over here. Okay, so now I can edit this and give it a bar chart, like so. And then I can dual access these two. Remember, the dual access has to be on the second one. I can't dual access from here. So if I dual access now, I have the bars on the lines. And that's one way you can kind of mix and match what you want to do. And I can change this to, you know, if you want it to be an area, you know, it will obviously overlap with the measured values. Let's say you're going to do bar. Remember, anything in the measured values has the same um, style of what you're trying to show. Okay? All right. So we'll probably leave it at that. There's a lot more... It kind of depends what you're trying to do. So Michelle, hopefully this answers your question and you're able to kind of get started with your data set. Uh, if you still struggle, please don't hesitate to, you know, send me a message and I'll do another kind of workaround. Um, send me the details again if there's any intricacies in your data set that you want me to kind of cover or issues you're trying to get around and I'm more than happy to help. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. It's so weird asking for that, but I kind of do because on YouTube. So anyways, enjoy and I will see you guys soon. Bye.